Welcome to Elox Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's tool review we're looking at the Vevor 4-inch machine voice. Now comparing it to my old machine voice, this is a lot better. My old voice, every time I clamped up a part, the jaw would lift, lifting the part in the jaw, and then you have to tap it down onto the parallel strips. This has got very little lift, only about half a thou I think it was. And also it's simple to lock, you don't have to put a lot of pressure on, you could do it one hand, press the lever down and it locks. There were a few things that I needed to correct on it, but these are only minor things which anybody could do. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. This is a 4 inch machine voice from Vavor. Let's see what you get in the box. Instruction manual, T bolts, and some tenons to go in the bottom of the vise. Four inch wide jaws on a swivel base, and the first thing I want to do is take the top off the base. So, I'll undo these nuts. Take the voice off the base. Let's look at the bottom. Well, that's a nice ground surface. Smooth. A few sharp edges just next to the, the slot. And a good finish. And as you can see, it's clearly marked. On the bottom we have the slots for the tenons and the tenons. It's a bit tight but I think it's just the sharp edge on the slot. This use a file. Let's go over the edge. That fits okay now. There's a bit of a burr on the tapped hole, so I'll just get the counter sink and take the burr off, and that should fit. This is just WD-40. Just clean the top. And this is all ground as well. Which makes a nice change. Normally when you get a voice or something, it's just been milled. And that's it. This has definitely been ground on the surface. And the bottom of the vise has been ground as well. Same sort of finish. I'll we'll put this on top of the, the base. Put the washer on. Fitted the base, make sure it will swivel. Just making sure that the teeth, the T on the bottom, is across the slot and not in parallel with it. Just 
Get this uh, swivel base set to 90 degrees. I'll put the dial indicator in and we'll, we'll plot that up. I put a parallel strip in the jaws and I've just swiveled it round till I get it near zero. So it's gone half a thou up, half a thou down, so that's over about seven inches. So I'm going to leave it at that. The one thing I've noticed is there is no datum mark on the vice. You can see there, it's been polished up, ready to have the mark put on. There's no mark, but in a way that's good because the last vice I had, the mark was there, but it was about three degrees out. So at least you can set this up on your machine and just scribe the mark at 90. I've fixed the parallel strip in the vice, vertical, and I'll just check if there's any out of square to the parallel strip. You have to bear in mind though, if your milling machine, if the head is out of square, it'll pick that up as well. Come down. So there we're talking about less than a thou over about five inches. Well that surprised me. I expected it to be more than that. So that's really good. Now I just need to check this the jaw with a parallel strip in. So this dial indicator is one every division is 0.01 of a millimetre. So I'll set it to zero and we'll go along and see 0 0.01, 0.02. So that's just less than a thou over the four inches. Now I want to try the other jaw on the other side. Set it to zero at the bottom. Wind back the other way. Off. That's point one. About three quarters of a thou. Now the next thing I want to do is find out whether this jaw moves up when I tighten up the vise. I'll change back to the other dial indicator. I've just coined down onto the top of the jaw. This is to see how much play there is when I clamp it and unclamp it. it looks about zero there, so that's clamped. If I unclamp it and clamp it, it's moving about half a thou. I'll just lower the parallel strip further down into the vise and see if it's any difference at the bottom of the jaws. I'll set it there. That's clamped. Unclamp it. It's probably less than half a thou there. So we've just checked that the movable jaw when clamped is only lifting less than half a thou, which I think that's excellent. And normally with this, and I move the, the vice in, I want to tighten it up. The handle on my old vice would hit this, and because it was fixed, you'd have to take it off, turn it round, put it back in. But with this, you can just tighten it up, or if it's hitting. You can pull it out and still tighten it like that without without hitting the handle below. And I've noticed that it only takes very little pressure to lock this vise. With the old one, you used to 
put a lot of force on it this one it doesn't need as much force to lock the vise okay I fitted the vise to the milling machine table this time I've not using the rotary part so it's fixed I've put the tenons in the slot underneath the vise and it's fitted and there's no play in that vise so the next job is to check the vise I've also adjusted the jaws they were they weren't right down on the face there was a gap but now they're adjusted they both flat and parallel and to adjust them there's just two cap heads in the middle of the jaw you come from this side under this cap head push the jaw down tighten the cap head up so those are adjusted okay this vise has a drain all the way around here there's like a, a gutter so when you're using coolant instead of coming down the back and dripping down if you have it on this end overlapping instead of dripping down all over your machine it will divert the coolant round and come out the side here so it goes into the t-slots and it will also stop it running over the front of the machine and that's on both sides so that's a nice little uh, design feature also the handle with this you can still use the handle there's no problem about it hitting the cross slide there's also a small oil filler hole here to lubricate the bearings inside I've got some machining to do on the dividing head tenons I just want to make them a bit narrower so they'll fit in the slot easy just fits in there okay I've just got another three more to do well to sum up with the vice we've tested the jaws they don't lift value for money that cost now as much as my other one did about four years ago the machining on these vices has improved over the last year this is all ground it's all properly machined it's a good finish and everything fitted okay and I would say this is a better vice compared to my old one now if you like the vice why not check out the discount voucher that's on the front with the description it's five percent off anything on the Vavor site and if you like the video why not subscribe well that's it for today thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Enots Engineering